Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we're gonna talk about some very exciting news that you guys have been waiting for, well, for forever. I've been talking about this for a few years now. I made a whole bunch of videos, but this is the first time I'm making this video where we have the first official images of the brand new XC90. That is correct, guys. We have some new official images. You guys may have seen it from the thumbnail, but yeah, this is pretty much 100% confirmed now so guys if you like well the new xc90 please be sure to drop a thumbs up on the video down below and also if you're new here my name is chris i have this channel dedicated to evs ev testing evs in general this is my own personal vehicle my porsche tycon cross turismo i give you guys you know the ownership experience so if you like ev content please be sure to browse the channel after watching this video and drop a subscription i would really appreciate it thank you very much and quickly, guys, before we kick off today's topic, which is yeah, very exciting, I just want to give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor, Saptic, with their Saptic Go home charger. The Saptic Go is a cool, small, and stylish home charger that can charge up to 11 kilowatts on AC charging. You can have it in a few different colors, and it is, yeah, really small and stylish. So if you're looking to buy a home charger, go to the description box down below and then find your country, click on the link, and purchase it from one of the vendors down below. And if you live in Norway, you can use the discount code SAPRIFA to get 10% off your purchase. Yeah, do that down below. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, with that out of the way, let's hop into today's topic, the brand new Volvo XC90, the third generation Volvo XC90 that according to Volvo is going to be officially announced this year in 2022 and come to market next year. So it's right around the corner. And without further ado, I'm just gonna show you guys the pictures and overlay them you know, here as we talk about the topic. These are official patented pictures by Volvo. So this thing is pretty much official. These are patented images. And there is a little bit of uncertainty. That's why I said in the intro, 99% certainty that this is the brand new XC90. I'm pretty much 100% certain that they are. Well, because the you know CEO of Volvo, Holcomb Samuelson, has also said that they're going to keep the current generation Volvo XC90 that came out in 2016, that was showed in 2015 at the Frankfurt Auto Show, the International Auto Show, that is, well, next month in Hanover this year. So I'm betting that they're gonna show the new car there. Well, that would make a lot of sense. But he has said that the current generation Volvo XC90 is going to be kept in production alongside the new version of the car. So, you know, it's going to be facelifted. They said they're going to update the design of the current generation Volvo X90. And if you look at these images, it's very similar to the current Volvo X90. I mean, profile, the proportions are very, very similar. But I think there are a few things that are you know, a telltale in these images that show you that this is actually the new X90 and not just the facelift, facelifted version of the current one. So, first off, we have the front end where you can see that it has, you know, a, it doesn't have a grill. Basically, it doesn't have a grill. You know, this has a lot of design cues from the Volvo Recharge concept that we saw last summer that Volvo said are going to inspire, you know, the Volvo design language moving on into the future. future. So if you look at, you know, the front headlights, the front grill, or rather the lack of a grill, this is very similar to the uh, the Volvo Recharge concept. And also we know that the next generation Volvo X90 is going to be an electric version and that the current generation built on the SPA1 platform can't accommodate a fully electric vehicle. That's why we only have it on the CMA platform, the XC40, the C40, and the Polestar 2 are all on the CMA platform. None of the cars are on the SPA platform. The closest thing we get is, you know, the Polestar 1, which is a hybrid with a 38 kilowatt hour battery pack but still it is limited to, you know, its architecture and construction. So I'm pretty much sure that we're not going to get an electric version on the old Volvo XC90 uh, platform, the SPA1. This being on SPA2, the new one is going to be fully electric. And that's why, you know, this has a blanked out grill or just doesn't have a grill at all. Looking very similar to, you know, what we see in, as I said, the recharge concept and also a little bit similar to the, the uh, Polestar 3 and also the Polestar 5 or the Precept concept. And then moving over to the profile, I know these images look a little bit weird, proportions look a little bit weird, but if you look at you know other cars in 2D like this, this is what they look like. We don't see cars in 2D in the real world, we see them in 3D. And taking that in mind, I think this is going to look very cool, very modern, keeping you know that 
a Volvo XC90 shape, just modernizing it and making it, yeah, more contemporary. So if you look at the, the way the, the uh, you know, the belt line kicks up be, uh, beyond the C pillar, between the C pillar and the D pillar, I also think that if they just did a facelift, they wouldn't, you know, change that uh, rear quarter panel uh, that much and also the glass area usually even you know volvos who have had heavy, heavy facelifts and also audi who have heavy facelifts between generations or facelifted within a generation they you know could, could do a whole front and fascia uh you know change up like you know the first generation volvo v60 pre and, and post facelift look very very different but what they often keep is you know the greenhouse and the glass area stays the same so that's why i think this is the new xc90 because you know that the way the the uh, belt line kicks up between the c and the d pillar i don't think they would have done that just for a facelift other small details is looking at the, the rear end or maybe a huge detail it's also the wraparound lights that's very similar to that recharge concept and I think it looks pretty cool and pretty spectacular. Very, very modern. Other things you can see, you know, some of the creases, just cleaning up the design a little bit. It looks a little bit more minimalistic, but keeping that overall XC90 shape from the first generation we saw launched back in 2002. And also you look at the mirrors, guys. This is pretty, pretty interesting because it has, you know, the same type of mirrors as we have on a Polestar. Uh, you know, these frameless mirrors that are a patented design from Polestar. So I think this is very, very exciting, uh, this car. And as I said to you guys, I'm going to get one. I have one on pre-order from my local Volvo dealer. They have a list of customers who, who want one. And once it's announced and they can put in an order, I just told them, just put in an order for me. And for you guys who don't know, I've had two Volvo X90s. I actually started this channel on my first Volvo X90 back in February of 2016. That was, you know, well, six years ago, guys, six and a half years ago. So yeah, that car is getting old and that that, that car was launched back in, well, actually 2015, it was, sh well, sorry guys, I'm getting the dates mixed up. It was launched in 2015, the summer 2015, and showed in 2014. So that's eight years ago now, almost. So yeah, it's getting pretty old, that car. So it is due for an update and a replacement. So I've had two of them. I've been a huge fan of the Volvo XC90. I love large SUVs and the Volvo XC90 just speaks to me and i hope they just take that design interior quality and just elevate it i can't wait to see the interior and also another thing guys is you know people uh, volvo were uh, people were speculating that this car was going to be called the volvo embla because the ceo hokan somerson said that the next generation volvo xc90 was going to, going to start with a vowel and volvo have also uh, copyright protected the the name embla which is this old norse uh uh, you know, from Norse mythology name. Uh, she, Embla was a god. I don't know what type of god, but it's from Norse mythology. So keeping with that, you know, Scandinavian theme is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but uh, it looks like Volvo have patented or trademarked the EX90 badge. So that makes a lot of sense that, you know, that EX90 badge being patented alongside, you know, these patented pictures. And I think that makes a lot of sense to call it the EXC90 because the XC90 is such a recognized, you know, name brand. Just changing up that would be very, very weird. You know, Toyota tried this with the Corolla, selling that here in Europe for a generation or two as the Aris. And they went back to the Corolla because the Corolla is such a strong nameplate. Volvo XC90 may not be such a strong nameplate as the Corolla, which has, you know, gone on since the 1950s. But it's still a very strong nameplate and I would be weird for Volvo to change it up too much. So EXC90 being electric, XC90 makes a lot of sense. And also to be honest guys, I think it's a much better nameplate than, you know, the whole recharge thing because recharge is both hybrid and fully electric. It's just all a little bit confusing. So they think they have to clarify that. EXC90, electric XC90. Yeah, pretty cool and pretty, you know, pretty simple. So let me know what you think about this down below, guys. I'm so excited. You guys know that I've been so excited for the Volvo XC90. I've been talking about this for two years now on the channel. Wow. And first, finally, now we have the first official picture. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.